Other scientists are attempting to interface technology with a mind that is far closer to our own. This is meant going beyond what for many are the acceptable limits of science. Recording from conscious, highly intelligent beings. The brain was considered the last frontier, really, the impenetrable part of us. And we are just learning that we can actually go in there and read thoughts. For Professor Miguel Nicolelis, the key to the human mind lies in studying some of our closest relatives. By implanting electrodes into the brains of monkeys, Nicolaelis is able to eavesdrop on their thoughts. We have been recording this every day for the last five years. So we have listened to this brain for the last five years. And every day we learn something new about how it is that it operates. Here you see one brain cell firing every time the animal wants to move its arm. And here you have a collection of hundreds of these cells. It's a sweeping flow of electricity across the entire brain. And I shall see the building up of the code. It's a hidden code. We don't have a Rosetta Stone. We don't know where to start. We don't know what the symbols mean. In a groundbreaking but controversial experiment, Nicolela set out to make sense of this secret language. First, he trained a monkey to play a computer game, using a cursor to meet a moving target. As the monkey controlled the joystick, Nicolaelis recorded the activity of the hundreds of brain cells involved in making these complex movements. He then translated these biological recordings into the language of a computer. This now allowed him to perform an extraordinary feat. He connected the monkey's brain to a computer that drove a robotic arm. The computer read the monkey's thoughts and made the robotic arm move in exactly the same way as the monkey's. Nicolaelis was using the thoughts of another being to control a machine. He had shown that the seemingly opaque language of the brain could be read. It's all here. And this is not only in a primate brain, it's in our own brain. The day we discover how our brain works is going to be by understanding sounds like this and images like this. This is the essential alphabet of the mind. All memories, all our thinking of the future, our expectations, our love, our sorrows, is all embedded in these patterns. Doing so, he had shown how the monkey's thoughts could be read. But the monkey was about to turn the tables on Nicolaelis. All of a sudden, our uh, monkey, Aurora, stopped moving her arm. And when we saw that, there was a profound silence in the room because we knew that history had been made right at that moment. The monkey realized that it didn't have to move its arm to play the game. It could now control the robotic arm by thought alone. The brain finally was freed from the body and could now act upon the world directly, directly, just by producing what it produces every second, electrical activity that could now be harnessed to generate motion. So it need them, the brain did not need the body anymore. This is Duke University.
In a first-of-its-kind experiment, the brain activity of a monkey has been used to control the real-time walking patterns of a robot halfway around the world. Duke University researchers completed a demonstration that harnesses the brain cell activity associated with leg movement in a monkey, simulated here by computer animation, to manipulate the complex walking and standing tasks of a robot. The Duke team is working with the computational brain project of the Japan Science and Technology Agency in Kyoto, Japan, to complete this research. Not only could the monkey control both his legs and the legs of the robot at the same time, but when we stopped the treadmill moving here at Duke and the monkey stopped walking, using the visual feedback she was getting from Japan, she was still able to sustain the locomotion of that robot for a few minutes just by thinking. Two rhesus monkeys were implanted with electrodes that collected information from cells in the brain's motor and sensory cortex. With astonishing dexterity, a monkey reaches out to grab and turn a handle with a robotic arm controlled not by its hands, but directly by its brain. With the power of thought, it can alter the speed and direction of the arm, twisting the joints to home in on its target. It shows no signs of distress from the wires leading from electrodes in its brain to a computer. The reward for each turn of the handle, a drink of water. The mind control works through a device implanted directly into the motor cortex, the part of the brain that governs voluntary movement. Electrodes pick up pulses within the millions of neurons and send them to a computer, which deciphers the pattern and strength of the signals to move the robotic arm. It's a long way from the mind control of monkeys to the man-machine hybrid, but the more scientists learn about the brain, the greater the freedom they can give paralyzed patients. The cyborg of science fiction may one day be reality.